Hi, right, Chris here. Uh, this is a video on how to draw a stub axle, and you can see here, hopefully, what the final stub axle is going to look like. You'll notice in this portion here, there's a bit of a taper. I don't know what that taper is, so I'm going to draw this end of the stub axle up to that point of the taper, and draw this end up to there, and then I'm just going to draw a line between the two. So let's start. I'm going to go to the top view. I just pan this down and we need to go to drafting and annotation and I'm going to start with a line and I'm going to pick on the screen about here and come down 5mm and then I'm going to go along 25mm and that ultimately will be threaded and then I'm going to come up or out should I say 3mm and then along for the first bearing 22mm and into the finish and then I'm going to draw a line from that end point and I know the total bearing shaft is 120 mm long so I type 120 enter and I know it originally comes out of a 25 mm diameter so I come down 12.5 and then I know it's got a shaft length of 41 mil 41 enter and then I know that the next bearing is 18 mil so I need to take 18 away from 25 and that gives me 7 so that's up 3.5 mil and then I know that this bearing is 22 mil long so I come along 22 mil and I know then we have our taper so I need to pick onto that end point head into the finish and what I need to do now is I need to join those lines so type in join I'm going to put the crossing on those lines enter so all those lines are joined and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the orbit and orbit it escape out of the orbit and I'm going to go into the 3D modeling and now I'm in 3D modeling I want to make a solid so I pick on solid and I want to do a revolve so I pick on revolve and revolve creates a 3D solid or surface by sweeping a 2D curve around an axis so revolve select the objects to revolve which are those objects so I joined enter specify the axis start point which is the end point and then it says specify the other axis end point which is that end point and then I want 360 degrees so I just need to enter and there you'll see the axle and all I need to do now is chamfer these corners here on the lathe 